While people in the Bay Area are preparing for the heat and fire season in the Sierra, well, they are getting some June snow. Now, this is video from Kirkwood Resort up near Tahoe. There you go. It's not much, but there are some flakes falling up there in the area. I'll be darned. Yeah. Who knew? You not knew. Not the kind of snow that would stick. Okay, uh, yeah. But in addition to that, we were getting thunderstorms on the Napa Solana County line like two hours ago. So there's something going on here. What? And what I, is it? I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay. We're also way below average for this time of year. So there are a lot of things to look at. First of all, first alert Doppler is lighting up right now. There's a lot of lightning happening over the northern Sierra. But before I get to the mountains, look what we had here. That was our brief chance of isolated thunderstorms that kind of skirted right down the Napa Solana County line. That's fizzling now. So you no doubt probably saw the cloud show today. If you were looking out towards the north or the east, you saw the big billowing cotton balls out there. That's all quieted down now, and we're done. But on the other side of the state, still going. So thunderstorms, some small hail, and yes, at the highest, most elevation, some of that's coming down as light flurries. So what is going on here? Totally miss it if you just looked at the regular satellite, but if you look at the water vapor, now you can't miss it. Huge trough sitting right over us. And we've been stuck in the center of this thing for about two days. So you can see it's pulling all the cool air down from the north, wrapping it up into the center where all the energy is right in the middle of it. That's why the thunderstorms are right over the Sierra. Watch the explosion and water vapor right there. So it's usually that northeast corner of these things where you're going to get the best dynamics, and that's right where the Sierra is. And we can watch this over the next few hours. It just kind of dwindles, and then by tonight it's done. Once the sun goes down, we're going to remove that little piece of the puzzle, and a lot of the energy is going to go down, and things will quiet down. Tomorrow, it's like it never happened. And then we have to shift our focus completely, because instead of these wonderfully cooler-than-average temperatures, there is a big warm-up coming. And just to show you how this will play out differently, San Francisco today, 63. Tomorrow, 70. Monday, 74. Not a big deal. San Jose, now it gets a little more noticeable. 73 today, 81 tomorrow. 87 by Monday. All right, you're getting close to 90. You're going to get to 90 by Tuesday. Tuesday's the hottest day. You'll see that in the 70 forecast in a second. But I just wanted you to see how these next three days play out. Whether it's the transition into tomorrow for Father's Day, for Livermore, you're going to the low 80s, or the official holiday on Monday for Juneteenth, noticeably warmer still at 90. And Santa Rosa is the extreme example from 75 today to 93 on Monday. Pretty view from the top of Mount Diablo. Those clouds have really flattened out. Numbers out there in the mid-60s to low 70s. Big doings in Alameda County. Pleasanton, the Alameda County Fair going on for a little while. Look at the difference for this weekend. 71 today, 82 tomorrow. So if you're out there today and loved it, you plan on going back tomorrow because you loved it so much, it's not going to feel the same. It'll still be nice, but it will be noticeably warmer for the second half of the weekend out there. Morning lows go down to the low 50s. We'll warm back up tomorrow to the upper 70s along the Bay Shore, Fremont 78, Redwood City 81, we'll go to 85 in Santa Rosa. Tuesday's the hottest day. Now you'll see it in the 70 forecast. Look at San Jose. We've already kind of walked up to that Monday's 87, but look what happens on Tuesday. You jump up another 10 degrees, it's gonna be near 100 in San Jose on Tuesday. And then you'll gradually start coming back down as we get towards Friday and Saturday. And when we look at the microclimates, you're near 100, but just on the other side of the line. So it's 102 for Inland East Bay. We'll be at 100 for our North Bay Valleys. And what really stands out here is that big jump. By Monday, you've already noticed it's gotten hot. But Monday to Tuesday is a 10-degree jump. So it's going to feel quite different from one day to the next. And then things will gradually improve for the rest of that week.